tell us what we're doing. <laughs> I'm <loading> up. <laughs> Always working. Yep. Loading, loading material. I'm making a video, so I got an excuse to not carry wood. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, truthfully, the reason she's not, uh, she's not in the video is because she said she hadn't washed her hair in about yeah. two or three days, and she didn't want. Well, see, I'm about to go to Alaska where I ain't going to be able to wash my hair. Cause what she's doing is she's trying to get her hair. I'm trying to see how bad it's going to get. I'm trying to acclimate my hair to no shampoo. <laughs> she's trying to get her hair used to not being washed, ever. <laughs> ever. So uh, while she's up there hunting, I'm going to be working. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to try to... Try to get the cabin a little bit closer to being done. Work on the inside. Yeah. Got these uh, on the twelves right here. And uh, I got a little table saw up there. Of course, I got skill saw and all that so I can make the trim and, you know, pr probably the doors and everything. Oh. Um, out of this, I'm probably going to use the old metal on the walls. Got some old tin up there. I may have to get some new tin to finish it up, but, oh. Uh, Trying to just do it as, as economic, you know, as, as cheap as we can because the price of building materials right now is just unbelievable. It's way up there. Tell you what, that tree right there grew on the side of the hill. Here, crooked in the dog back leg. I've got a, I was telling them, I've got a photo shoot with GSM to do up there in Kansas and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't do the photo shoot stuff. And I, don't, I don't never know what to do with my hands or nothing when I'm taking pictures, so it ought to be interesting. <laughs> like Ricky Bobby. I don't know what to do with my hands. You know, when I get up there, I'm gonna have to build another shower. Yeah, cause we gotta take a shower. Yeah, outdoor shower, because I'm gonna live in the cabin. You know, it's insulated, but I'm gonna live in it while I'm working on it. Yeah, and I will for a few days before I have to fly home. Yep, so we got pump up mattresses. <clears throat> Need to get some sheets too for them because I ain't got anything like that. But oh, I, I went ahead yesterday and put trailer lights on this old trailer. This is my nephew's, I'm buying it from him. I'll put uh, three new tires and another extra wheel, a rim, you know, for a spare in case we blow something out because I'm fixing to load her down. Gotta have a spare, and oh. I'm gonna be driving, so we really gotta be safe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, let's see what else. And his back is tore up. You know, he's always got something tore up. His back's all messed up now for, from 50 years of picking up stuff that he shouldn't have been. <laughs> I got the bows in here. For oh, I might do a public hunt. Me and Hannah. Oh, might do a. Oh, like you got a, mine too. No, I didn't get it yet. I need to get it. We, well, you need to put it. We in got a. Box. Oh, you had to weld the frame. You know, had this thing was busted on old pieces yesterday, so. Y'all don't be looking at the welding because it's not the best. It's thing. probably what a daggum dollar store welder too. Yeah. But oh, got the coolers, got the hunting clothes, tents, generator. I bows. didn't know we had a tent. Well, I had a couple of those small ones, but I can't find them. You know, in case we need them in uh, Colorado. Yeah. But uh, that's what we're working on now. Yeah. And let me go ahead and tell you. It's only in the 90s right now. But, but it humidity. feels like it's 407. Yeah, humidity is just unbelievable. This is the miserable time of year in Alabama. Yeah, well, it's miserable anywhere because Cody said it was 100, over 100 over there, so where I'm going. Yeah. So I got my big fan right there. I'm going to have that bad boy running on me. We got a box fan up there to sleep. I think so, yeah. I, think I'm gonna, so I can too. take that one out of there because it looks like I'm going to be up there for a month. And well, the little gonna tractor. Really, yeah, I want to sleep it up there. And the fish cooker. Oh, I got to have, yeah. I got to get me a fry pan. You know, got to, got to have something to cook with up there. But uh, I want to leave from, from Kansas to, to go do that public hunt. So. Yeah, we got a side in my boat. Yeah, she's flying to Alaska. Yeah, I'm flying to Alaska for 11 days. Next week. Oof. I'm going to work on this while she's over there. Oh, when she gets back, we got a couple more things to do, and then we're we're going to try to do that uh, 
See if we can kill an elk with a bow on them. That would just be... Or at least run around out there and look we're for them. We're going to run around out there like some wild Indians looking for them anyway. We don't yeah. have any idea what we're, we're doing. We're going to have rednecks from South Alabama with a daggum small game license killing squirrels and stuff. That's what it's going to end up being. Probably or whatever probably. you can kill. Yeah. Well, know. we ain't going to go hungry anyhow. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's what we doing. That's what we working on anyway. We trying to get something going. Got to get up there and finish this thing. Got some more. Uh... Do we have anybody coming this year? Well, Granddaddy. Yeah. Got. How old is Granddaddy now? 76, 77? 77. 77. Got my 77 year old granddaddy coming up there to hunt. Yeah. A good one. Be his though. He's killed some pretty good ones here. I'm going to put one more on there. I'll be done. Appreciate y'all. Hey. Appreciate y'all.